Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Karibu tena kwenye kipindi cha kanisa la Yesu. Kutoka katika kanisa la Yesu ni Bwana na mwokozi wa mataifa yote. Siku ya leo tutakuja kuelezea upande wa kwa upande wa baadhi ya staili za miziki ya kuzimu ambayo pia huku duniani watu wanacheza na pia watu wanaimba lakini pasipo kujielewa ni kwamba wanafanya vitu vya kuzimu na wanakuwa wanacheza hizo miziki ya kuzimu Praise the Lord welcome to another episode from our church Kanisa la Yesu ni bwana na mkozi wa mataifa yote and uh, in this episode we're going to be talking about and showing you examples of music and dance styles that are here on earth and a lot of people sing them or a lot of people dance to them not knowing that these styles were actually originated from uh, the hate so welcome na pia nitaeleza kwamba ifo hiyo hizo baadhi ya hizo muziki unapokuwa unacheza ni maana kwamba kwanza kabisa wanakuwa wameshajisajili kwa shetani na wanakuwa wameshakubali shetani na wanakuwa kwa kuzimu kabisa and through dancing those different styles you automatically have entered a covenant with the devil knowingly uh, knowingly and you have given your life to the hate zipo stendi nyingi sana za muziki ambazo huku duniani watu wanajiona kwamba wao wanajua sana kucheza watu wanajua wanajua kuimba hata baadhi ya muziki pia ambayo watu wanaimba pasipo kujielewa ni kwamba wanakuwa na mtukuza shetani na wanakuwa na kukuza serikali ya shetani na malaika zake lakini siku ya leo nitakwenda kuwaeleza ili mpate kufunguka zaidi yeye ambaye alikuwa akifanya kwa kujua au kutokujua ikiwa umeamua kuacha na uache hivi tusonge mbele na Yesu and there are many music uh, songs that people sing or songs that people dance to uh, that unknowingly while you're dancing or singing you're glorifying the devil you're glorifying his government you're glorifying everyone who is at the hate so we're going to show you a couple of examples so that you're able to avoid them and not be part of something that you don't understand or not be part of something that you do not want to be part of mfano unaweza kaona labda mtu amevaa katika video fulani au nyimbo fulani ambayo anaimba labda mtu amevaa boxer au mtu amevaa bikini kwanza tunachipenda kuambia kwamba boxer kama nilivyo kushakueleza kwamba boxer ni mavazi ya nyani wa kuzimu anapokuwa na vani na maana kwamba na wewe unapozidi kuangalia ni kama unazidi kujinadi si wengine na pia unakuwa unazidi kujiunganisha na mkaniko wa kuzimu istosha hata kama na wewe mwenyewe unavaa pia tayari unakuwa una mapepo mbali kwako majini na maroho mbalimbali ya shetani anakuwa ndani yako hata kama ukisema umtaki shetani shetani bado anakuwa na walalo kufuatilia and uh, just a specific example of an uh, something that you can wear or something that is worn in music videos uh, that people don't know it is actually a big effect on them is the boxer you see a lot of men who wear in in our in, in our phrase that they use today sagging jeans and their boxers are revealed as i've already talked about the boxer is monkeys from the hate so once they wear those clothes automatically they are connected to the hate whether they want to or not they are automatically connected with them na pia nitakwenda kuonyesha baadhi ya hizo style ambazo pia zinachezwa na watu mbalimbali huko duniani ambao wanakuwa ni wanamuziki ambao wanakuwa na imba wageni wanamuziki ambao wanakuwa wanapenda kusikia sana duniani ili uweze kujua kwamba niweza kutoka kuzimu and also I'll be showing you a couple of examples physical examples of styles that people use or dance to without them knowing or others knowing that have originated from the hate na unapoona mtu amevaa hilo vazi la bikini anapokuwa labda anafanya video fulani au anapokuwa na pengine anaimba mziki fulani ni nataka ujue kwamba kwanza bikini tayari ni mavazi ya majini ambao ni mavazi ambayo yanatengenezwa na yule mama makaba ambaye anajulikana kwa jina la Yezabel and i also want to talk about uh, another dress code that is known as the bikini a lot of people wear this not knowing that it has originated from Jezebel herself she's the one who started it she wears it at the hate and of course once you wear it you are connected to the hate whether you want it or not whether you don't want this connection you are automatically connected na pia napenda kueleza kwamba mfano hawa wanamuziki ambao wanakuwa wanacheza hizo styles za ajabu duniani au wanaimba hizo muziki ambayo haifai ambayo niliwaambia kwamba nitaenda kujieleza nataka ujue kwamba wametumwa na shetani I want to tell you uh, that the songs that people musicians sing or artists sing and, and the dance styles that they use in 
their songs or in their videos are originated from the devil. They're actually given that certain style, that certain song from the devil to bring it here on earth so that it's able to spread and uh, to do what he wants it to do. Lakini lengo lao ni kwamba wazidi kupoteza watu wote wasifuate njia ile ya Mungu wa kweli ya kwenda mbinguni lakini wafuate ile njia ya shetani ili siku ya mwisho watu wasiende mbinguni. And the, the purpose of this um, songs or this music or this dance styles is in order to take people here on earth to the hate. And the more people they are able to drag to the hate, uh, they are rewarded for that through their music and through the dance styles. Lakini pia unaweza kuona labda mwimba mziki huko duniani anaimba vizuri anajulikana anafahamika ana pesa nyingi na chacha nikwambia ni kwamba wale ambao wanakuwa wanaimba hizo nyimbo ambazo hazifai kwa ajili ya kupoteza wana Mungu ni wanakuwa wanalipwa kulingana na kila mtu anafanya kazi ya shetani ambayo anatuma yeye kama yeye kwa ajili ya kuimba ambayo utamwona ana pesa nyingi sana huko duniani mtasema mziki wake unalipa siku ni kwamba yeye anakuwa ameimba vizuri na amefanya ile kazi ya shetani kama ilivyotakiwa. Kwa hiyo kikujira wake unakuwa ni mkubwa zaidi kuliko yule ambaye ameimba kidogo labda kwa hofu, kwa uoga au kwa sababu mbalimbali. And these artists are usually rewarded by the devil depending on how many people they are able to take to the hate uh, by them singing their songs or dancing their styles. So when you see someone is famous at that time their fame is claimed by them taking an amount of people to the hate. So the more people they are able to drag to the devil, the higher their fame becomes. So once you see them fading out, you know that they have not done their task as right as they're supposed to be. But when they're up there and everybody knows them and they're famous, that means they're doing the task that the devil has asked them to do correctly. <laughs> Jinsi tutakavyomwona kueleza hizo style na nina namna gani unaimba muziki yao. Ningependa labda kukueleza kwamba usiendelee kuangalia kwa maana pia unakuwa unazidi kunajisika na unakuwa unazidi kujeka mbali na Mungu kwa sababu Mungu achangamani na uchafu. Kwa hiyo unapozidi kuangalia muziki yao na kusikiliza unazidi kunajisika na kuchafuka kwa ulimwengu wa roho. Shetani anazidi kuwa karibu na wewe anazidi kukuvuta kwa nguvu zake kwa sababu anakuwa na uhalali maana umeshasikiliza vitu vyake na vinakuwa vimekaa katika ufahamu wako. I want to advise you after you've seen these examples that you may avoid dancing to these styles or singing these songs or even watching them because through that you are affected God uh, leaves you because he is not associated with sin and also through that the devil is able to control your life. Na pia squeeze hata baadhi ya makanisa yamekuwa yakiimba nyimbo za kwaya lakini hizo nyimbo jinsi wanavyoziimba ni kama vile wanaimba muziki ya hip hop na muziki ya kurabu lakini mila ya watu kuelewa nanyi pia mnasema hili kanisa lina Mungu wanaimba kwa katika roho si nyingi tu gani lakini pia napenda kukwambia kwamba hilo kanisa lina kweli na mwabudu Mungu mziki. And today there are a lot of genres of music that have entered the church and a lot of dancing styles that have entered the church which is not something that should be there. For example, uh, artists who use the genre of hip hop or R&B or reggae in their so called gospel songs that is not something that we traditionally know or that is not something that that shows a sign of holiness or a sign of god in the church so this is a way that the devil has able to enter the church uh, trying to claim that it it is useful it is cool and it's something that uh, people enjoy when it actually is it's connecting the church to the kama wewe pia unapenda kusikiliza na pia ushauri pia uache baada ya hiyo muziki ni reggae hivyo R&B ndo kuna hip hop kuna muziki mbalimbali ya matara kuna muziki ya haya muziki ya rap rap mtu anaimba kama vile kiana kichaa mtu anaimba kama vile yani kama akili zimemnuka lakini napenda kuambia kwamba hiyo muziki haifai na kama unapenda kusikiliza na kama unapenda kuangalia hata si ajabu wewe mwenyewe unapenda kuimba lakini And there are certain uh, genres of music and, and uh, dance styles that you at home who are watching maybe like to sing or like to watch or like to dance to. Uh, for example, hip hop, R&B, reggae, all of these are, are originated from the hate. They're not anything good. It's not something that has come from heaven. No, it hasn't. So it, If you find yourself singing along to this music, if you find yourself listening to it, if you find yourself enjoying music that makes you lose 
lose your mind, then this is something that you should be aware of and you should avoid uh, listening to or doing. Kama hivi kana ngaika kana ngaika kana ngaika ovyo 
kwanza mtu kama wewe kumuona amevaa hivyo na kipetebea sio nini na kufanya mwenye na baringo hapo kikuta amedumbia kama jororo kake kali hapa kaika kofia hapo sio amefanya nini ikajeleka mwanaume na kwa kama mwanamke bila kuelewa mtu kama wewe kwanza napenda mwelewe kwa dole mwangu au yeye ni shoga au unakuta mtu amekaeka vileni huko amevaa kwa mwanaume lakini matendo yake na kama ya kike hivi mwanaume anatembea vigume tanua tanua hivi kama sijui kitu gani alafu bado ukiangalia siku hadi umefalia hapo bado ni mjinga na ni pia ni unakuwa unajisajili kwenye serikali ya kuzimu pasipo nyewe kujelewa yamepoteza watu wengi na si haja kwa tayari unasikiliza na kuangalia pia atakuwa anakupoteza mambo kama hayo lakini iko neema siku ya leo mrudi tena mungu au unaweza ukaona mtu analiza akapita hapo mbele kusalimia kwake yana salimia kama ataki ni mwanaume ukiangalia kina ansalimia kama ataki sijui eh 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 lakini napenda kuambia vitu kwamba ni mafichu ya kutoka kwa shetani pasipo nyi kujira na njimna kuhige au mtu kana tembe tembe hivi mtu anaimba na kufanya hivi hakuna kitu kama yu wa mtu kama sasa nafanya fanya hivi anakata mtu wa wanafanya kitu gani ya panapo kwa nafanya fanya hivi na pia napenda mwelewe kwamba mtu wa mbeo nakuta amevangu kama hivi lakini mtu unazo kona amevangu ya nda bado amevati na kaptula na nja wa vasu luwari hafu bado anapita hivi mpaka na mwenda kaka kutilimika chini mtu kama mwelewe kwa kwenye ulimwe kwa roe ni shoga na ni mki wa majini lakini mimi mwonyesha mfano mimi siyo shoga wala siyo mki wa majini siku tila katika hizo pande na yareze kanda ikawa na mambo wa ya mekutiza sana vijana au mtu wa kipita hafu mtu mtu wa naikaika viplasta umu sasa naikaika maplasta umu ndani ya mwili wako mwumia au mtaneza kwa kuta anenyewa hivi hii kitu manyweja misimama hapa hivi kama siki kitu gani yote bado unakuna mtukuza shetani pasipo yewe mwenyewe kujielewa na pia style nyingine napenda kuelezea style ambayo watu wanaita ni blues siku wanaita meiwa watu wameiko majina mengi siku mwendo wa taratibu siku mwendo po mwendo pole siku kitu gani wala wakuta wako na kumbatiana hivyo na chiza chiza obyo siku nini kwanza unapo kuta mtu wanafanya fanya hivyo ni namana kwa mba na hii tayari hapo katikati yaki anakuwa mengia mwema wa kahaba baini yeza baini hii ndo anakuwa na chiza na hivyo katikati na unapo kuwa na chiza na hii namana unakuwa na zini na hivyo pasipuwe mwenye kujilio kwenye ulimu kwa lo kwanza na pia unaonekana ni kichaa kaza mwoto wa hivyo vugu wa kiri wakua na hita siku mwendo gani hivi kwanza mtu kama watu wana chiza chiza hivi hivi vimuli vinaenda enda hivi kwanza tayari na kwa mesha nda mwende ule wajo kaku na inakuwa jiwe binadamu mungu na mingumi wili unatembea kuzuri unenda jenda jivi yote ni mambo ya mwoye metoka kwa shetani lakini watu kwa siku kujilewa mnaige ila napenda kumbia kwa mba wewe ya mba unafanya ya uwe inaese inaese kana bado kwa unayendoja kufanya au unaigia au unapenda kusikiliza vitu kama hivu lakini uvifanya yote napenda kumbia uviache au unaweza kuona mtu wamenyua style flani kwenye ndevu yake hapa kwenye ndevu ndevu zaki anapo zinyo unaweza kuona mtu anangia style ya o hizi napenda kuambia kwenye iyo o ni pepo flani ambao lipo kuzimu na ambalo kazi zake ni kupoteza watu na kuhuiwa kupeleka watu kukua kwa shetani na kuenda kwa fungia kwenye viwanda vya shetani kwa iyo watu wanaenda kuwa wanafu kwa shetani kuna wanaenda kuwa wanafu na mapepo na madini kwa wanafenda kwa shauri watu ambao wote na iso tabia watu ambao mnafenda kufanya ayo mambo yote napenda kuwaeleza mwache na pia wanaweza kuona mtu labda mwingine anatembea lakini kofia mejeka inageukia huko nyuma hivi kofia inatakiwa inaangalia mbele lakini mtu ameacha kofia inaangalia nyuma au kofia inaangalia hivi napenda kuwaeleza kwamba bila wewe mwenyewe kujielewa ni unakuwa umepindua maisha yako na shetani ndo anakuwa na walali na wewe na vile vingine mtu anafaa huko unaweza kuona mtu amevaa vitu kitu vingi yeye ni mwanaume lakini vitu hivyo vijaza huko ni kama vile mfano wake ni kama mwanamke mtu kama yeye ni kwamba anakuwa ameolewa na mapepo na ameolewa na majini na shetani mwenyewe pia kwa anapenda kuwashauri watu msifanye vitu kama hivyo na pia anapenda kueleza kwamba unaweza kuona mtu mwingine labda yupo duniani ni mwanamuziki au yeye sio mwanamuziki ameiga tu ameona sehemu fulani na yeye akaiga labda mtu anaweza kukuta mtu anachora chora au mkitu ya jambo ajabu au mwingine amejichora mwili mzima kitu kama hivyo yani mnaweza kukuta mtu amejichora tatua ambayo tunajaribu kujinadikana huko duniani Unaweza kukuta mtu mwingine amejichora mjusi, mwingine amejichora sio manji gani, mwingine amejichora jina, mwingine amejichora sio kitu kama kaswichi hapo manake ni kwa mtu ambaye anakalika mjusi amekachora bali na maana kwamba yeye tayari anakuwa maisha yake yako chini ya wanyama wa kuzimu yani ni upande mmoja wa wanyama wa kuzimu wote na wadudu wote wa kuzimu wanakuwa chini yake yeye yani wanakuwa hapo juu yake yeye yuko chini yao 
kutua yubu wana kaswichi ya pandina mana kwa mashitani ilo anafua na kontrol maisha yaki kwa mba kia mwa kuya rusu ya ndembele ya taenda kia mwa kuya rusu kuya zima ya siye ndembele anakuwa na wezo ya kezimu kwa na iso sifiwe na pia anapenda kwa yeleza kwa mba mimi nilikuwa kwa mbuza mbaza ya tatu kwenye ufaru na mashitani nilikuwa ni mtu wa shetani na sikuwai kufikiria ata siku mja kama nita kunja ni kaya duniani ni yonge na mtu lakini nema ya mungu imekuja kumitoa na mina penda kukweleza kwamba achana na vitu kama hivyo usipende kufifuata lakini ya mani ya kuyenda mani ya mwewa kuna iya mwui lako kia mwaku viacha uenda kutaendelea kuwacha lakini usipo viacha utanga utaendelea kupata shida mateso ya takutoka ndani ya mesha yako siku zote mpaka siku amba utamuwe mwenye kuyaacha Mimi nilikuwa huko, nilikuwa nafanya kazi mbali mbali za huko kuzimu, lakini siku ya luna penda mkua ileza na wewa mba ya hache maana ya fai na wala haya mpendezi mungu. Kwa sababu ye, pio mba mfanya hiko ni kwamba umemishusha mungu wadi yake, umina uminuwa shetani. Kwa wana penda kuwambia mwache, mungokoke na mungrodie yesu na mungu awabaliki. Na mimi nilitulio na mtume na nabi ya luna mkua kuzimu, na kwa sasa hivi na mshukuru mungu mwana ni kuduniani na sasa hivi na zidi kuatolea siri za shetani na yale maufi ote ambayo shetani alikuwa na yafanyia na wafanyia na mungu kwa jidia kwa kuteza na mungu awabaliki karimuni katika kanisa na yesu ni wana na mkozi wa mataifa yote bye bye